French-led troops are steadily gaining ground in their battle against Islamist militants in Mali. They took control of the rebel-held city of Gao over the weekend, and today they're pushing extremists out of the historic city of Timbuktu. The battle isn't over, though, and already severe damage has been done. Insurgents destroyed some priceless cultural artifacts. Sean Mallon reports. The soldiers from France were hailed as they entered the legendary city of Timbuktu, residents lining the streets welcoming them gratefully as liberators. Foreign Legion paratroopers dropped into the city at dawn, and by afternoon they were in control, the Islamists having melted away into the desert. But on the way out, they seem to have committed acts of cultural vandalism. These are the remains of the historic tomb of three saints reduced to ruins. And this is the Akbad Baba Institute, a repository of thousands of ancient documents, some tracing back to the 13th century. Boxes were left strewn and open. The librarian says some manuscripts were stolen, others were burned, declared un-Islamic. For me, it doesn't make any sense. There has been an international effort to preserve and copy these documents, which were considered a priceless record of life in North Africa from centuries ago. If it's really confirmed, it's a tragedy. Um, it's a very serious damage, uh, damage to uh, the world history. The French advance into the Islamist-controlled regions of Mali has been swift, despite the many challenges of moving heavy equipment through the rough roads of the desert. The desperately poor residents mobbed a soldier who attempted to hand out some of his rations. It's difficult uh, to see that. While the capture of Timbuktu is important, no one believes the battle is done. Now that does not mean that all the problems of Mali have been resolved, but it will give confidence to the African forces that we want to see deployed there. Rather than face the armored vehicles and air power of the French, the Islamists seem to have staged a strategic withdrawal, perhaps planning to strike back when they think the time is right. Sean Mallon, Global News, London.